Sorry about that, folks. Emulator problems yet again. I have a feeling this is going to be a, a running thing in the future. Not sure if it's just because of online play, but regardless, get used to it, because it could happen again. But anyways, I just want to wrap up the Let's Play by saying that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles played a significant part of my childhood. Admittedly, I didn't, I didn't stick with it for too much past maybe eight or nine years old, but... It definitely left its mark. I still have a lot of the toys. I liked it more than the Power Rangers and any of those other kids' franchises that had a really successful marketing. But what about you, Dark Wolf? I didn't exactly grow up with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was like a, a thing. It was a, it was just another thing. Um, I did like Power Rangers and Big Bad Beetleborgs a lot and Transformers Beast Wars. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was kind of on the side, but... Further on, when the newer show came out, like on Fox Kids, that's when I started getting into them more. So, when was that? The late nineties, early two thousands. Early two thousands, I believe. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of a gap there was between the Fred Wolf cartoon, which was the one from the late eighties, early nineties, and the early two thousands. I'm not sure if there were any other series between the two. And then you got the. <laughs> The movies and the new series that's out. Man, I didn't see the 2007 movie. It didn't really spark my interest. How was it? It wasn't so good if you ask no. me. But I'm not a big, huge turtle fan. Maybe huge turtle fans might have thought differently. Mm, I'm very interested, interested to see how Michael Bay is going to handle his turn at the wheel of the intellectual property. Oh, boy. I know there's a lot of fan outrage about that because of the Turtles' origins before they were aliens, but now I believe they're going to be created inadvertently by the aliens that are invading Earth, I think. I'm not I sure. believe that's what I read about. Not sure what to think about that. I probably won't rush out to see it. I'm pretty happy with my nostalgic memories as is. Yeah, it feels like he tried to fix that and just kind of didn't do it. <laughs> you didn't fix it, man. You're still fixing it, putting it back the way it was, but you didn't. But still, Megan Fox, April O'Neil, what's up with that? Does he have to cast Megan Fox in everything? Yeah, I think they have a soul-binding contract. I'll start with a car wash. <laughs> Anyways, back to Let's Playing. Not sure what's going to happen next, but me personally, I like to stick with older titles that are e easy to jump into, easy to jump out of. It also makes them easier to record, easier to comment on. Although I might do some more recent series, recent games in the future. For example, I think Portal 2 looks interesting. I, I'm more experienced with Portal, but Portal 2 looks interesting all the same. It's the same old thing, just more story, I guess, and more harder puzzles. More complicated puzzles, not harder. Yeah, I'm not really good with kinesthetic visual puzzles, so if I ever do that, it's going to be good for a lot of laughs or perhaps uh, face palming. <laughs> uh, how about yourself? I think I could do the puzzles. I think I could go through it. I, uh, with the, the Portal 2 Let's Play I already did, I, we went through pretty easily, so... If a co-op happened, I'm sure it'd be fine. Then again, you are a pretty visual person, so you have something of an edge in that department. Yeah, puzzles are my thing. I'm, I'm, I don't like to brag, but I'm pretty good at them, if I say so myself. And the curse has been placed. Oh, modesty, too. <sighs> Anyways, folks, that about wraps up this LP. Whatever comes next, we will see you in the future. So, later, guys. Bye-bye for now.